In this video, I want to show you some IntelliJ live templates that you need to know as a Java developer. IntelliJ is really good at using these live templates for all sorts of purposes. So you probably know about the obvious ones that are already defined with your IDE. So for example, main or something like system out that then can be just insert it by typing some characters, hitting tab, and then it expands. There are a lot of helpful ones already out there. For example, well, with a variable system out V that prints a variable, prints a method, prints some parameters that works quite well. Or if you work with some variables or then some other uh, things that you can use with a what is called postfix notation. How does this work? For example, I write hello world and then at the end, well, at the end when typing, you type dot something, which first of all would sound weird, wouldn't work, but this works because of the postfix notation that then is wrapped, for example, with system out print. This works quite nicely with variables. If I had something like a Boolean variable and say, well, if that then wraps it as well. Or if this were a reference type, for instance, I could say non null or if it is null and things like that. So they come already shipped with IntelliJ. You can check out the live templates in your settings. Just go to your settings and type a uh, live template. And then you see a lot of them with Java or your own ones. So this is already really helpful. But what I also want to show you and really encourage you is how to define your own ones because you will have some own boilerplate code snippet in your project, things that you type all over again. For example, if you use specific frameworks, specific technologies such as Java Enterprise or Quarkus or Spring where you say, well, how many times do you write something like at inject? And this is really interesting to, to mention because it sounds really obvious, but usually what happens if I type something like at inject and then I need to have the correct import, which, you know, takes just this tiny um, extra fraction. And also you can have some, uh, well, potential mistake where I just say at inject, for example, or something like at application scoped. It's just much easier to type with some live templates. So these are the ones I defined or some of the ones I defined that already have an import. And make no mistake, this is really helpful just to in, um, increase a little bit more productivity or reduce the friction of not needing the mental energy to think, oh, wait a second, which import is it again? So just say, well, just insert it, right? And then I can have at inject some other class or this one doesn't matter where you just keep typing so that it just increases the flow of your typing experience by reducing these small frictions. So that makes a lot of sense in the same way you can have some post construct method, pre destroy method. Uh, that's all in Java EE or Jakarta EE or Quarkus examples. But of course, you can define other things as well. So it can be some project specific things that you can define. It can be some libraries that you do. So for instance, I like to do this with uh, a testing library, which now I don't have available, I think in this project, but something like assert J and assertion assert that that then wraps something. For example, I could say this and then it already uh, makes some suggestions, which also works in the postfix notation. If I say, well, some variable and then wrap it afterwards. So same idea that is just really helpful and I really encourage you to do this for your projects and for the things you work with all the time. Same story you can go to your settings and then check out well some live templates and some examples. Of course I have some examples uh, for you that you can find on my uh, dot files on my github repository here but again you will come up with some own ones so these are just some examples or hopefully some inspiration that you can use. In the same way what is quite helpful it doesn't have to be Java, this is also really helpful with some things that otherwise you would need to look up in some documentation or check out. For example, uh, for a Kubernetes YAML example, I mean, who knows how to write a deployment with like this from scratch, just from the top of your head? Well, you probably don't. You would look into the documentation or if you do it often enough, and I do this really quite often because of uh, some workshops that I do that I type these deployment service definitions, whatever these YAMLs and just all of the structure that's really complex. It makes sense to just have some sort of template for it. 
um, and it wasn't there already in IntelliJ. So I defined uh, things for deployment services, things like that. Same as here for Java code, for all sorts of libraries or things that you use all over again. So I really encourage you to once in a while take a step back and see what are the things that I could improve here by defining live templates for them. What am I typing all over again manually? If you found this helpful, you might also find it helpful to watch a video course that I have on this topic linked down below. And I would really appreciate a like as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye.